So what are we keeping here? Looks like I managed to draw into a lot of key cards. Maybe we want a spear. Cyclops. It's always nice to have. I suppose in this deck. Workat is nice. Do we want the Workat round one? Alright, let's go with that. Does everyone has that? The red dress. Do I prefer that over the green? I don't know. So I suppose I can play the Ancient Foglet. Have fun hitting that. And... Uh, we might want to trigger... I don't know if we want to trigger the Manticore. Hmm. Boost ally by two. So we can take out the trebuchet. If I play Vivas, then we can use Vispus to take out the trebuchet, which is kind of nice. Otherwise. Mm, not that good. I don't know if you want to use the Manticore right away. Uh, to do that. <clears throat> That's why I gotta use my points. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. So, what kind of gold cards I have? Only one gold card, which is not that great. Okay. How about... Well, the thing is, he's gonna trigger once. Uh, we can't prevent that, which is pretty bad. I can also save the Vispus to try to take out the next one that comes out, which might be even a better idea. I can trigger the Manticore, but I won't be able... Well, actually, I can kill it. This could be really good. Let's just go with that for now. And lost. <clears throat> yeah, that's annoying, but he doesn't have a target. So what's our plan? Creatures, because everybody has them. Problem is the the Vercat is kinda useless now. And we can't play the Archispore. We do wanna play the Harpy Egg for sure. So most likely, his win condition is pretty damn simple. He has Hubert. Yeah, he's setting up the Harpy Egg. But if he triggers the Harpy Egg, I'm actually pretty okay with that. Really? Two spears? But that's it. <gasps> Uh, I can pass now, and he's gonna lose a card. Oh, or would he? No. He can just pass next turn. 
And we're just gonna... Ah, oh, come on, that's annoying. I don't know what to go with here. So I can try to eat the egg, but that's just no good. I can play the Archispore, but that's pretty weak. Don't know what to go with here. I can kill the Cadvin Revenant. Okay, we're just gonna keep playing here. If he kills the Archispore, that's not really the end of the world. I'm a little surprised that he killed that. Yeah, but you're also getting hit. Barely enough. So if we can play the cat, that does okay. And he's also gonna get hit if he kills the cat again. I don't think I have ever beaten that Hubert deck. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the time we beat him. I don't have a lot of experience with this Unseen Elder deck, but it looked cool, so we play it. Huh. So I can play this for 10. But he can just kill the Weavis. Three allied units are destroyed. So if he keeps doing that, it's just gonna be bad for him. We can play that. Oh, that's interesting. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go with that. You destroyed allied units. You get hit. I think we're just gonna play the Karen ultimately. Unless he has some kind of artifact removal, but if he plays the Frenzy Dao, there's a decent chance that that was the last one. It's still pretty damn important to try to have the last say against this guy. Okay, we don't have a good target. Don't know what to go with here. So we can play this for 10, which is okay-ish. It's not great, but let's go with that, I think. That should be alright. Let's get this over. Well, 11, because it, because the Veracat goes up by one. But once the Veracat dies, we're gonna be in a good spot. We do have to play Karen, I believe. Oh, that doesn't do that. Yeah. Ultimately, saving the Frightener Awake for later would have been pretty nice. But, uh, can do it. 
So, do we Imperial Manticore next turn? That helps. Don't know about that. But that's that's something we can actually play. Vault Hunt Rider. What are we using for last round? It's probably gonna be a combination of Cyclops with Broad Fiend and, uh, and Harpy Egg. Uh, Harpy Egg is certainly nice. Yeah, we can just save those. Mm, yeah. Let's go with Ryder. I'm gonna play a little bit here. Maybe a bit more than that? I don't know. Depends on what he's doing. Okay, it's a good idea. It's a tie. That's it. It doesn't have anything powerful on the board. You can give something zeal. Do we keep playing here? This looks dangerous. I think we've got a pass. I definitely don't want to play the Manticore in a situation like this. We might want to save the egg. I can play the egg for 8, but that might not be good enough. But then we... and after that we would need to commit quite a bit. So... pass. I like this, he has to play another card. It's probably some throwaway trash, but we'll see. Hey, four, you went. Oh, that's trash. That's really trash. <laughs> Have you guys tried this deck? The Unseen Elder deck? Okay, that's something we can eat. These are not the best. But what do we have in the deck? So this can trigger three Death Fish units. Um, do we want one Spear, maybe? I would like a Cyclops. Because we have quite a few Death Fish units here. I'm not a huge fan of the Spear. Okay. Uh, definitely there is no Blacklisting anymore. Even worse stuff in the deck. <laughs> now that done, I, I would have liked to have a Cyclops. That would have been nice. Maybe we can just straight up kill it with the Archispore. Especially that he's hiding in the back. We can just play in the back. Oh, that's so annoying. One thing we can do... Well, we can play either Drought Fiend... Or the Imperial Manticore. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Oh, it destroys the lowest enemy. Yeah, we could have played the Rot Fiend. Then we had a chance to actually take out the botchling. Okay, Vernon coming out again. Rotten plus Elder is probably the best move. The North, Tamaria. Oh, that's really bad. That's I've more important things to do. For King and Honor! Now 
Damage all units on this row. Should I do that right now? Okay, let's go with that. Can I somehow ignore Sabrina? Interesting. Does he even have a way to trigger Sabrina? surprised I have to say random enemy if it said the highest it would be so much better okay let's kill the damn sorcerers for sure now if we ate the manticore it would simply kill the Chironex which is okay Can he deal damage? I think he is. He probably has to hit the harpy, right? Eat Sabrina with all the rest? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like a good idea. I suppose I don't have a crazy amount of experience with this deck. I wonder if this is better, because we get plus one for Archispore. The thing is, he might not have a way to even trigger a, a Sabrina at all. So at this point, he's probably thinking about using his hero power on the Harpy, and he has a Hubert. the spear matters uh, it matters a little bit maybe <laughs> so first we destroy because this is gonna damage something so first we destroy I hope the order matters then we damage let me damage again. Well, that somehow did it. GG. The order is based on row placement? It is? Thanks for telling me that. GG. Alright, let's do a quick mulli if we can. Two spears? Whoa. So it's a five right away. I can start with Imperial Manticore and blow it up, which is pretty nice. That's a good use of the Imperial Manticore, so let's do it. Why not? <laughs> because that's gonna get a lot stronger. That's not a 5, it's gonna be like a... Oh, I don't know, a 10 at least. Probably more. Mm, we can get one of the sticks. The 
free. Try to kill it. No. Mm -hmm. All right. The evil at us. It's pretty decent. Consuming one doesn't worth a lot. It's not worth a lot, and uh, I don't know. So we don't have a Karen, and uh, this Bruvis is at most gonna eat two units. I kind of want to play some big bronzes. Might as well play the Archspore. Yeah, let's go with that. <clears throat> Is that the famous Deathwish deck from Reddit? Yes, it is! I... I just straight up copied it from Reddit. <laughs> hey Astrid. Make her here. Ooh. Now we can blow that up. So this could be an 11. Oh, he really wants me to pass, but this is this is just an eleven right away. Oh, we can just play this. Okay, you can pass, no problem. So ten points, we can easily do it with spear. Spear professional guy. Why not? Was that an overkill? Nah, this was only a, a nine. Well, we could have eaten only the Arc Spore, so nah, that was okay. Anyway, which of the new leaders is your favorite one so far, Adam? Uh, actually, I'm not uh, familiar with all of them, so I probably should have made a video about them, but I, I didn't check out all of them. I've seen the elf one last. I'm not sure if that's the last one. I didn't like him much. He was extreme. Well, he's extremely situational. Okay, Arcus poor. Do we just keep this? Hmm. No wonder the deck is bad. <laughs> Come on, give Reddit some credit. Monster one just got released. Oh yeah, it was hyped yesterday. Like, but it all only had its provision bonus. Displayed like what the hell? He, he looked ugly or she or I, I can't tell. I just saw it and like no, but I suppose I'm uh, I'm the monster fanatic here, so I gotta check it out. Oh, YouTube video? No, 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 no. Is there a Reddit post about it? I'm not gonna watch a YouTube video while I'm playing a game and streaming. Let's just jump to the the point here. Now here we go. At 20 seconds. You spawn a fruit.
Okay. So basically, you can make a one power token every turn that you can destroy. So this works well with the. Uh, I suppose the video also shows it. W works well with the big griff. Also, like yeah, the interesting. I like this. I like this effect because it's unique. It's very unique. Looks like a consume leader. Yeah, I suppose you can always just eat that for extra points. This looks a bit confusing. It's not too late to walk away. Oh no. Well, we didn't play not Nuggle Far. Yeah, I probably shouldn't try to kill it. Damage and by two. Yeah, we can't play Nago far. Alright, let's go with that. Uh, that looks like an interesting leader, however, I'm a little concerned that uh, maybe he doesn't really have the finisher potential. Needed. Ooh, Cyclops. We might need to Cyclops here. Wait, what? No! Fuck. How can I <laughs> say no? I messed up. I thought he had infinite range. It's a tribe leader. But is it a tribe unit? Oh crap, he locked it. That's interesting. So I guess we're gonna play Bruce. Consume two units. Peace out. After that. Another Black Mamba. It kind of feels like half the player base is called Black Mamba. Yeah, we're not gonna play that. It needs to play something that's at least a 6. That was lucky.
Oh. Garnichora spawns a one pointer with Thrive. That's interesting. But that also synergizes with Deathfish. So, yeah. Interesting leader for sure. Is it just me or monsters? Uh, seem to getting seem to get the most love in the game. Hmm. It's gonna get us too. Scurry away before it's too late. But Skellige also tends to be the boring faction. Like, good points, but also tends to be more passive. Although, it's not, not as true anymore. It used to be more true. Strong, and Cameron's gotta be damn powerful. Yep, Cameron, your turn. Snack, oh, snack. How rude! Unbelievable. Is Tribe useful? Tribe is awesome. Tribe is one of the best uh, uh, value generation in the game, or the best. Tribe is really good, but also. Uh, it gets shot down uh, by damage quite hard and, and somewhat by luck, but damage most of all. Like the Neckers, the Neckers are just stupidly powerful. They become like 20 points in a long round. But uh, yeah, if they have one spear, rip in peace. Anyway, GG.